My name is Tara Cantrell, and I am the director of Indie Fringe's Crowd Play. Um, essentially what this is, is it's an advocacy project for arts education in Indiana. Um, what we really wanted to do is essentially make something, give back to the community um, in some way as Indianapolis artists and as artists-to-be who um, want to show their appreciation for the arts and for what artistic teachers are doing in Indiana. Um, so what we are doing is we are doing a series of flash mobs, um, which we are calling crowd play collectively. And the first one, which is a teaser performance, is going to happen on December 9th, which I am very excited about. We chose the title song from Footloose um, because we thought it would be a really exciting and happy song that kind of explains exactly what it is that um, we are working for, which is, you know, everybody goes to work, everybody does the things as adults that you should do, but before you do all that, then you have the arts, and those are what really make your, your life soar. And so we wanted to use something that, of course, also has a lot of media attention right now um, in order to kind of exacerbate that fact that everybody, it doesn't matter what walk of life you're from, um, you have been in some way um, moved by arts education in your own life. I am advocating for arts education in Indiana because I think it is appalling that we don't give enough funding to arts education when it does probably arguably more for us as a society um, than some of the other education that we focus so hard on. And, and that's nothing to say anything against science and mathematics and English and all of the things that we do focus on because those are very important as well. But without the arts, we would not be as good of communicators. We would not use our brain functionality in the same way that we can to create innovative products. Um, and we wouldn't be as whole of people. And I just think that those are things that we have to take into consideration when we're thinking about the arts and whether or not that's gonna be the first thing on the cho chopping block. I am hoping that we gain a little more of an awareness um, as, you know, a smaller Indianapolis society, at least, um, as to what exactly is happening in our offices and how we, as individuals, as well as a collective unit, can help to bring about um, more funding for the arts and more programs for the arts in central Indiana and beyond.